Again, hello. Welcome to Hattie Waverwire Guru. Getting ready to go into week 15. Man, I mean, I think there's only like three videos left and the season's over, but that's how it goes. Getting ready to go into playoffs. This is probably going to be a pretty short video because there's just not a ton out there. Uh, but I do have some picks for you, so don't worry about it. All right, let's start off with quarterbacks. Um, all I have is spot starters for you. The first one I'm going to tell you about, I mean, you have to be crazy to start him next week um, just because he's got a tough schedule next week, and that's Alex Smith at San Francisco. Came back, had three touchdowns, looked pretty good this week, but I just don't expect it next week. He's got a tough schedule, so, you know, you got to be in a really dire situation. Uh, maybe your only other options like a Matt Flynn or somebody like that, and then you would gamble on Alex Smith. So, you know, that's just not the best spot starter to start off with. But the next one... It's not either. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, there's not a whole lot out there on the waiver wire um, in really deep leagues that really excite me right now. Um, John Skelton from Arizona has Carolina next week. So, you know, he's got an opportunity to put up numbers. Um, I think he's got a little more upside than Alex Smith just because Alex Smith has a really tough matchup next week. But, you know, Skelton uh, for Arizona has a pretty big arm. You know, he's going up against Carolina. So he's got... Uh, opportunity. I just hate that this is playoff week for you have to start either Alex Smith or John Skelton. They're just not exciting. Uh, for Dynasty Leaguers, um, maybe Skelton's interesting uh, right now, so someone you can stash, uh, but that's about it. Running back, Ryan Terrain. All right, he's back. I really was unsure how much workload he would get uh, coming off an injury, but man, they just gave him the rock and they ran him like crazy. So, you know, Ryan Terrain is a great pickup this week, probably one of the best pickups out there. Uh, I think he'll continue to get that workload. He just looked really strong. So, Ryan Terrain is a definite grab. Also, Rashard Jennings, the reason I like him is because, you know, Jacksonville, if they win again next week, they're going to clinch, and I think they're going to sit MJD. So, all you MJD owners, be ready with Jennings. You need to own him. If you need a running back for later in the playoffs, guys, this is a guy I would grab, Rashad Jennings. If MJD gets sat, this kid can produce. All right, I don't have any people I'm watching on my spot starters. I've got Brian Westbrook and Anthony Dixon. Uh, both put up pretty good numbers. They have a tough matchup next week, so if you have to spot start them, I mean, it, you're just really going to have to have nothing else. They're not exciting me. Westbrook's a little bit better at PPR. Dixon's probably better in your TD leagues. So, you know, they're spot starters. They're most likely out there. So, you know, I'm not going crazy over them. Uh, grab, talked to him before. To I blew the face, I think you guys have heard me talk about him. It's Dion Branch. Uh, he's just consistently putting up numbers, consistently getting in the zone, and it's because of Tom Brady. It's not because Dion Branch is amazing. It's really not. It's because Tom Brady is doing very well, and, you know, De it's making Dion Branch a grab. That's it, okay? Uh, who am I watching? I'm going to watch Kevin Ogletree. For some reason, John Kitna just doesn't throw it to, you know, Miles Austin, you know, but Ogletree's been getting targeted. You know, with Des Bryant out, I thought it was going to be Roy Williams. I mean, honestly, the Dallas situation for wide receivers isn't all that exciting anyways, so Ogletree is just a watch. Just like uh, Brandon LaFell uh, from Carolina, I'm watching him put up some numbers in garbage time uh, this last week. But, you know, as someone Clawson was looking at, if you have to start someone from Carolina, I'm sorry, you know. But you can watch Brandon LaFell um, and see how he produces, but ugh, you got to start him. Uh, next, spot starter, you know, Donald Jones. You're like, who? Donald Jones, who's that? All right, I'm going deep on you right now. He's a wide receiver on Buffalo, and Lee Evans is out next week already. Donald Jones gets to play, and he gets targeted, and he's really not that bad. I mean, he's put up some numbers when Lee is out. So, you know, Donald Jones is super sneaky. Um, so there's your sneaky play that's going to be on your waiver wire that nobody else is looking at, okay? Donald Jones. So, Buffalo, wide receiver. And finally, at tight end, uh, all I've got are spot starters. you got Andrew Corliss. If... Um, you know, if Aaron Rodgers is out, Flynn does like his tight end. So Corliss becomes a little bit more of a factor, especially if your tight end hasn't been producing or is injured. So Corliss is someone you can look at. My really sneaky play is Anthony Fasano on Miami because they're going up against Buffalo. All right, so Fasano has definitely been targeted more, but I really like the matchup here, so it's more of a sneaky play. All right, and that's about it, guys. Uh, week 15 is getting ready to go. I hope you're doing well in your playoffs. 
you know, if you need help, email me, Hattie Waver Wire Guru at HattieWaverWireGuru.com. Check out HattieWaverWireGuru.com. Become a fan of the Facebook page. That would be great. And that's it. Kick butt.